Give me a few minutes to show you a simple yet effective trick that will level up your textures. I learned this after years of texturing and now I'll show it to you in just a few minutes. If you do texturing, you most likely use smart masks in Substance Painter to add dirt, edge wear, rust and other effects. But these masks don't consider the details you add during texturing. For example, here I add a detail, but I don't get scratches around its edges, even though they exist on the original mesh. This makes the added details look unnatural, as if they are not part of the model. But now, check this out. We get scratches around them. I think this looks much better and more natural. Or here I add dirt, but I don't get any dirt effect between the wood planks. That's because smart masks only use the object's original shape and ambient occlusion map. They don't recognize manually added details from the height or normal maps. So what's the solution? It's easier than you think. Let's create a basic setup for demonstration. Here I have two fill layers, base metal and paint. I'll drag and drop the paint subtle scratched mask onto the paint layer and get this effect. So far so good. Then I create a new fill layer, increase its height value and give it a black mask to add bolts, screws or any height map details. As you can see, I can add details now, but this is not the final result. Here's the important part of this video. You must follow these steps carefully to get the result. There are only few steps, but if you miss one, it won't work. Add the paint layer under the smart mask layer, but above the height or normal detail layer. Placement is important. Right click and give it an anchor point. This layer is not for painting. Switch the channel to height if you are adding details on the height channel. And set it to pass through. Pass through means it will collect and combine all height information from the layers below. Select your smart mask and enable micro details. In my case, it's micro height. Now, scroll down to micro height input and select the anchor point. Then switch the reference channel to height. Finally, it works. Now, you can adjust the effect from the micro details settings or alternatively from the levels below. You can also tweak the global balance to fine tune everything. Now, let's add dirt. The procedure is the same. Create a black fill layer, drag and drop a dirt mask on it, adjust the values a bit. Micro details are already enabled. Choose the anchor point and set the reference channel to height. And here we go. Adjust the effect from the micro details section. Here's another example. I want to add dirt between wooden planks, but the smart mask doesn't put it there. In real life though, we should have dirt in those gaps. To fix this, use the same method. Create a paint layer, make the height channel pass through, and give it an anchor point. The anchor point is for referencing. You can think of it as linking one layer to a smart mask or something else. If your plank material uses a normal map instead of a height map, just replace height with normal in this tutorial. The method is the same. I'll move the plank material under the paint layer so it collects all the height information. Then that paint layer links to the smart mask via the anchor point. Okay, here are a few more tips. You can assign an anchor point to any layer or mask instead of using a paint layer. Thus, you'll only use one layer. To limit the bottom range of the paint layer with pass-through, group it together with the other layers in a folder. This way, it won't take any height information from outside the folder. That's all for today. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please hit like and subscribe. More useful tips and tricks are on the way. Also, feel free to share it with your friends who use Adobe Substance Painter. They'll love this trick. Thanks for watching, stay in touch.